Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, if you are new here. So today I'm going to be reacting to my very first makeup tutorial, which I'm like sweating already. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like this is gonna be so embarrassing, but also kind of wholesome at the same time. So I'd been wanting to do this video for a while, but now is the perfect time because I kind of like had a sty forming in my eye and it was like swollen and I didn't want to wear my contacts or put on makeup, at least for a few more days. It's gotten a lot better and the swelling has gone down, but still I just wanted to just not mess with that area for a little bit. So I was like, today is the perfect day to react to my very first makeup tutorial. I just thought it'd be interesting to see what product Products I was using back then and just if I still have those products today what I think about them and just what I think about the overall makeup look so yeah I'm very excited let's not wait any further let's go ahead and get on into this and see what my makeup was like back in 2013 Wow Okay, so this was posted in July of 2013, which means that I was going into my freshman year of high school So I had just finished eighth grade. I'm pretty sure also I already know that I used copyright music in this So I'm gonna have to put some different music over it. Yeah, <laughs> and the song was I remember I picked this song because I'm pretty sure Bethany Moda used this song so everything that I did in this makeup tutorial heavily inspired by 2013, you know, beauty YouTubers like Bethany Moda. I loved like everything about them. Blair Fowler. I feel like that's so important to say, you know, I was so heavily inspired by them and they made me want to um, do more beauty videos on my scoliosis channel at the time. Okay, so this says everyday summer makeup and the little description says this is what I wear almost every day when I'm going out in the summer. I usually do winged liner as well, but only when I'm feeling fancy. Enjoy guys. Nothing has changed there. <laughs> I only do winged liner when I'm feeling fancy, so we haven't changed a bit. Let's start this thing. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup look for summer, and this is usually what I wear every day. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. This is like my first makeup thing that I'm doing on my channel since I've combined them two together. So I hope you guys enjoy, and this is the finished look. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. Okay. <laughs> I love a short and sweet intro, you know? I was short, sweet, right to the point. I need to, you know, pick up some pointers from 2013 Sarah because I, I like struggle. I always like ramble in my intro, so I need to be more like her. But okay, let's get into it. Everyday summer makeup. Okay, I'm stopping right here. CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I still use it to this day. The bottle looks different. They've changed their branding and packaging a little bit, but I still use that. That's awesome. <laughs> and then I used, what was that? So it is the CoverGirl BB Cream in Light. So I don't even know if CoverGirl still has this product. And I applied it with a brush. And I mean, that's... I, I like that. That's cute. Like I use a little BB cream. Okay, and I put it like on my lips Did you guys see that? Why did I why did I do that? So next up? I already see this Bobbi Brown concealer in beige and I know for a fact I took this from my mom because that's probably not my shade. It's probably slightly too dark for me and I don't know any eighth grader who owns Bobbi Brown so <laughs> Like I'm pretty sure Bobbi Brown is so pricey. So I, I know I took this from my mom Okay, so that actually didn't look too dark for me at all, and I just put it under my eyes. Love that. It actually brightened it up nice, and now I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent, which back in the day was everything. Everyone owned that Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent, and I really like that. I don't have that powder anymore, but I would purchase it again. I really remember loving that powder. What the heck? Okay. 
the little kabuki brush. Who remembers the little kabuki brushes that everyone used? <laughs> Okay, so I used the Milani Baked Blush in Coralina, and I remember being obsessed with that blush. And I know a lot of people to this day still love the Milani Baked Blushes, um, so maybe I should get one of those again, honestly, because it looks really pretty, and I remember loving that blush so much. And I threw in a little tip. I was like, just blend out the blush with powder if it's too harsh. Miss Beauty Guru Sarah is giving you all the tips today. And I remember the brushes I used, I got for Christmas and they were a pack from Costco and I still have some, I'm pretty sure. I love those brushes so much. I wonder if Costco still sells uh, makeup brushes, but it was like a pack of, I wanna say like 12 brushes and I loved them so much. I didn't even say the brand. I was just like 24 hour color tattoo. You guys know what it is. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that was from Revlon. That was like their cream eyeshadows in the shade branded everyone had back in the, you know, beauty guru days. And I bought it and it's just like a champagne shimmery cream shadow. And I loved that cream shadow. I wonder if Revlon still does cream shadows like that. Also, I used the Nivea lip balm. Um, yeah. I have nothing really to say about that. It was a great lip balm. I remember it was like caramel scented. I'm pretty sure I said in the video, but yeah, so I'm just putting on some cream shadow. Let's see what I do next. Yeah, okay, those, did you see that little tiny individual NYX eyeshadows? I wonder if NYX still does that, but I had one in taupe, I think it was called, and one in dark brown. I loved them to death. I think they were super popular back in the day too. Everyone had those little individual NYX shadows, and I know everyone loved having individual MAC eyeshadows as well, but yeah, love those NYX eyeshadows. Don't have them anymore. not expecting i forgot about that palette the maybelline eyeshadow palette in copper chic i still have that let me go get it this palette right here is mm, everything it's everything you will not find a better inner corner highlight than this right here i stopped using it because i feel like it's a little unhygienic at this point it's a little old but it's just these four shimmers like these coppery pretty shivers but i still hold on to this because this palette was just, just so nostalgic to me and i'm not even like that i'm not like a sentimental like i don't really hold on to objects like that usually i can throw things away quite easily but this palette is just everything to me i actually found this in my sister's room just now i guess i gave it to her because i wanted to get rid of it without actually getting rid of it so yeah wow that's so funny i used that palette that long ago oh my gosh and I'm using it as the inner corner highlight. It is the best inner corner highlight. Maybelline, the Rocket Mascara. I don't have this anymore. I remember using it a lot. I really liked that mascara and I think it was popular among beauty gurus back in the day, but yeah, I don't remember like that much about it. Okay, so I use the Revlon Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie. And if I'm not mistaken, those are the same as the Revlon Glass Shine Lipsticks, which I do have some today. I'm pretty sure that's their old 
kind of version of it. It was like, it was a lip balm, but it was shiny and it was tinted and they were so popular back in the day. And Berry Smoothie was a really popular shade, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure these are like the same new and improved version. This is in the shade Glaring Coral. Why not put some on? I really like these to this day. If they're the same, I'm pretty sure they're the same. My hair is really bothering me. It's like keeps falling out of this clip, but we're almost done. <laughs> okay, then I said use an old clean mascara one to tame your eyebrows. That's a good tip. Like I didn't have a spoolie. I don't know if spoolies were around back in the day. They must have been, but I didn't know about them. So I was like, oh, just use a clean mascara one to brush through your eyebrows. So that's a good tip. I'm not sure what that setting spray was called, but it was just the Urban Decay setting spray that might have been like the all-nighter spray, which I still have today. Not that exact one, but um, this year I got a bottle of it. So I still use the Urban Decay setting spray, which is pretty cool. When Julia Adams starts playing on your laptop out of nowhere. What's funny is like, I still do a similar style of makeup to this day. I feel like back in the day, I was very minimal and now I'm very minimal. I mean, I went through a phase in between where I really did love full coverage makeup, but it's just interesting to see that I've kind of gone back to that. But yeah, that was so cute. I love seeing the products that I used. Let me know in the comments down below if you used or remember any of those products from back in like 2013, 2014, YouTube beauty guru prime days because I was so heavily inspired by that and it's just so like wholesome to look back and see what makeup products I used back in the day and all of my little gestures made me want to cringe so bad but it's fine I feel like everyone kind of did that back in old YouTube days like you'd make the funny faces in between like as almost like a transition you'd just be like and then move on to something else oh, I hope that wasn't just me <laughs> But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me reacting to my very first makeup tutorial. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.